Hey everybody, it's that time of week that I call Whip It Out Wednesday. Only difference now is I'm whipping it out in Vegas. Um, be patient on this video. I know the eyes are going to be a little red. Might be coughing and sneezing. Change of weather. Well, I can gamble all night. Um, so just just bear with me. A um, couple things I want to talk about. Let's get shameless plugs out of the way. My boys at Bookmaker um, need to open an account there. March Madness. Okay. The guys have been around longer than Microsoft. I said this all the time. They've been taking fucking bets when Bill Gates was fucking counting pennies. Okay. It's the way it is. Been around for a long time. It's where you need to play, better options. Go to the forum, click on my banner there. If you do that and you fund the account with a nickel or more, I will get you um, comp games and fo football and my fucking nuts. Basketball and baseball. So do that. Make me proud of you. Do that and we'll get you all hooked up. Uh, kind of give you my uh, my time frame what happened yesterday. Got on a plane, uh, landed around 12 Vegas time. And came into a fucking hurricane. I mean, damn. Baseball was bad. Early basketball was bad. And, and it just leads me to, to, to let you guys understand. Um, you know, we won about six straight games here. Five videos with six games. And we won. And, you know, guys that I've never seen or, or have been to my forum or seen me or, or on my program. Like, holy shit, you're the second comedy I got. Well, actually, the third, but that's fine. Um, kidding. The thing about it is, these videos are just kind of for entertainment. For, for entertaining, I, I, they're one game off the games that I bet. I can go five and one and, and, and lose one and lose a, a con video five straight weeks, be up really good money. But you guys will think I'm a motherfucker. I, I could win five weeks in a row, go fucking one and twenty, and you guys would never know. I, I keep it honest. I told you guys I had a bad day. I mean, you know, it's just the way it is. Um, you got handicappers that are out there, oh, wait, alleged handicappers that are great. You know why? Because they could give you fucking games uh, with three minutes to go in the game or, you know, just after halftime, they all have selections. These are the same motherfuckers that want to do these challenges. It's, oh, fact, man, you ain't got no money. You ain't got no balls. Now, stop. I made a challenge to a guy. I told him, I said, look, you're an expert. You say you, you're, you're, you're good. I'll fucking give you five or ten grand and just hit two out of three games. He says he can hit two out of three games, toss some coins. Well, hey, you got a better edge. You don't have to toss a coin. Hit two out of three games, you win, I'll give you five or ten grand. This motherfucker couldn't scrape fucking two nickels together in Chinese money. This guy's so fucking cheap, he wouldn't pay ten cents to see, to see the Statue of Liberty take a piss. But yet, he's calling me out for saying I have no money. Well, I, I'm fucking around in, in Vegas. I'm fucking around. So, so what I do was I'm having drinks with some guys, some friends of mine in town. Uh, Joe, who do you like in the Gonzaga game? I don't like. I don't really follow that conference, you know. But fuck, I guess I'd have to back Gonzaga. Nah, screw around. Gonzaga, sixteen fifty to win fifteen hundred. It won. I no, no credit for that. Well, but I goes, come on, let's you know, let's go three hundred p's because I'm not a big better. All right, fuck it. Make a three hundred dollar bet. Gonzaga minus seven and a half. But I'm quirky. I was like, I can't bet three hundred. I got twenty three hundred on a game. I'm like superstitious, and I know it's bad luck to be superstitious. So I had to add. 700 more Gonzaga. Thank you. Now I'm like, okay, I got $1,000 on Gonzaga. My dick's not really going to get harder for $1,000. Go back to the window. Bang. Let me fucking crack up uh, Gonzaga for 2200 So at least for 3300 I'm a little excited. Another 5000 offshore. I got 8000 on the game. I'm happy. You know, just a game I don't even like. So th those are the good things about, you know, that happen. I don't do them often. So yeah, so I'm not broke. I, I don't have, you know, no. When you're when you're seven star, you don't. When you go to the window, they you get straps, you cash chips. These straps are these are, these are straps. They're wrapped in ten, a couple of rubber bands on the guinea band roll, and no, there's not ones. See, everybody's like, oh, there's probably all ones there. How do I do this? It's one, so you don't think I'm switching. Another strap. Two. So I don't think I'm switching. And this is 5500 for my game for first half. I'm going to go. Fucking money falling on the floor, you cocksucker. That's going to be my first half game. I'll pound the fucking 20 on the game. Who do I like on the game? It's Wednesday. Whip it out Wednesday. You guys want free picks, correct? Okay, let's do this. Seton Hall sucks. We know, but so does Marquette. So what do we do is who sucks more? No offense. Um, I wasn't talking to you. 
my wife watches this. Anyway, w w here's some notes that I have. There, there's a Mar Mar Marquette has has lost nine out of ten road games. They did have one win against Seton Hall, but they were outplayed. Uh, game came down to the second uh, last few seconds. They should have lost the game, but when they played uh, the time prior. Seton Hall puts 80 on him. The kid Delgado rebounds the fuck off of him, which he should because uh, Seton Hall is ranked in the 60s in, in rebounds. Marquette is ranked in the 300s. There's only 350 fucking teams. So teams like Arkansas, Pine Bluff, NC Central, Wilmington, State Carolina, whatever the fucking name of these teams are, they probably rebound better than them. So uh, I think there's a decided advantage there. Uh, the game's being played in New York, predominantly at Seton Hall crowd. Uh, I, I, I really, really like that, you know, in, in the game. The, the the thing about this game is, I, I think when you throw a tournament, when the tournaments come out the window, I think you got to look at matchups, you got to look at the, where, where these teams are playing. And, and I think being played in New York, I said, w w will help a lot. And... There's just certain there's certain things that I like about this game. There's there's, there's a kid for 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 a seat named Sterling Gibbs. This kid, I mean, he starts shooting threes when the fucking bus is parking. I think he'll be effective. I think he'll do what he's done in the past. Shooting threes, Seton Hall gets Marquette. They were 13 to 26 in one game and seven out of 18 in another. So they're going to get their threes. They're going to shoot them. They're going to get clean looks. And for the most part, a team that don't win on the road. Is only a one point on the dog. Seton Hall gets the job done. So we'll go for our fifth or sixth. I think it's our sixth, our seventh win. I'm sorry, in in, in six videos. I, I don't know the exact number, but it's it's been real good. So we'll try to continue that now. Guys have asked in the forum, how do I listen to the radio show when you and John Kelly do the show on Thursday? It's ten o'clock Pacific time, and um, uh, I think the call letters you in my forum, sportsforumpicks.com. Go to the facts corner. I want to say KLAV 720 or something like that, but just go there. You can watch it live at 10 Pacific, 7 Hawaii, if you're keeping score, uh, 1 o'clock in the morning on the East Coast if you have no life. But you can always just click on that site the next day and look on their archives and watch that there. You'll enjoy it. I'll try to do my best to do what I do and push the envelope, and that's what I like to do. Um, I will be shooting my Friday video here, same location. See that right there? It's the Paris in the background. See that? Paris. It's a nice room. I like this place. It's you gotta love this place. Anyway, um, I'm pretty much it. Uh, my plugs always done best. You know, they're they're my they're my boys. Okay, we're gonna go out this afternoon for for lunch. Uh, if I ever get some fucking sleep. But again, you, you look at guys like the Kenny Whites. You look at guys like um, Todd Furman's. You look at guys like um, uh, their news feeds, their lines, their injuries, their their updates on games. They're, they're awesome. They do a really good job. And if you're not getting your lines there, you're crazy. And I say this every week because I want you guys to definitely support them. It's going to give you an advantage as a sports player. Uh, bookmaker, it's where I play. I get seven to ten uh, offers for sponsors. I'll put a banner up. I'll give you an affiliate deal. I'll give you this. Sponsor this book. Everybody knows who you are. Everybody likes you. They trust you. Yeah, but I don't trust you, motherfucker. 4,000 sports books go out of business every fucking year. You don't know that because a lot of them are mom and pops that just rob people. Bookmaker, like I said, has been around. When bookmakers took their first bet, <coughs> um, Microsoft didn't even exist. I say this all the time. It's not, it's, it's true. Uh, Bill Gates was fucking counting nickels in a piggy bank. So here's what I want you guys to do. Make money on Seton Hall. Uh, it'll be good. I'll be back Friday for, 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 for a comp Friday video. And um, let's just have some money, have some fun. And... Um, how do we do our closeout? As always, everybody, great day. Good luck. And what else? As always, go fuck yourself.